All right, quadratic equations. Notice I switched to equations here because that's what this is all about. Um, and we're going to look at something called the quadratic formula. As I mentioned in number five, the quadratic formula came from completing the square. If you want to see the development of it, go ask Google. Say, hey, show me the development of the quadratic formula. And there are a million places to look at it. I'm going to tell you. Let's actually do that, right? Equals negative b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. There's the magic quadratic formula. And that works with any equation that's written like this. It needs to be in this order. You have to have your x squared and then your x and then your constant in order to pull out your a and your b and your c values. And then you just sub them into the, into the formula and you get your uh, x-intercept values or your solutions to that equation. So let's say I give you the function. Um, and let's stick with one that I, yeah, we'll do this one first. It's not going to be pretty, but that's okay. That's why we use the quadratic formula. There's the function. In order to find the x-intercepts, we need to solve the equation. So A is negative 2. B is negative 7. C is negative 3. And those negatives are important. Don't lose them. The formula says, take the negative of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now, I want to point something out that I did automatically as I went through that. Every time I subbed in a value, I put it in brackets. There are a lot of negatives happening in this one that you're going to lose track of otherwise. And the brackets are telling you when to add and when to uh, multiply. This says the negative of negative 7. Well, that's just 7. Plus or minus, and just leave that sit there for now. The square root of negative 7 squared is 49. Now I have a minus times a minus times a minus. We're going to end up subtracting. 4 times 2 times 3 is the same as 4 times 6, so that's minus 24, yeah. all over yeah. negative 4. Yeah. I guess, like, part of my brain Equals um, 7 plus or minus the square root of 25 yeah. all over negative 4. And I'm going to do the unthinkable and go over here because I've run out of room on my screen. We know the square root of 25 is 5. The plus or minus in front is important because when we take square root, there is a positive answer and a negative answer. And underneath, I have negative 4. Now, sometimes that's good, and you can just leave it right there. And there's two lovely answers. But if you can actually do the math, you should do the math. Oops. So our answers end up, where I can do it here, 7 plus 5 is 12. Minus 4 is negative 3. Seven minus 5 is 2. Over negative 4 will be negative 1 half. And if you need to write those down to see them, do that. There are the solutions to this equation. They are the x-intercepts for this function. So they would help you sketch it and do a better job of sketching it. OK, I'm going to clear my screen. And go, what if I need to be more specific here? What if my function looks like that? So my equation. And I'm going to fill in my formula. Notice, too, that I write my formula down. That's how I memorize things. If I write it down every time, it ends up stuck in there and doesn't go away. So the negative of b, b is negative 4. Minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Negative of negative means I just have 4. 
16. Minus and a minus is going to be a plus. 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. All over 4. Don't go cancelling here yet. I cannot reduce a 4 that is not under a root sign with a 16 that is under. They have to both be under root signs if I was going to do that. So 4 plus or minus square root of 32 over 4. And if you think back to simplifying radicals from uh, last course, you know that that's really the square root. Oops. 16 times root 2 over 4. And the square root of 16 is 4. Now I've got 4s on every term. I can go 1, 1, 1. So I have 1 plus or minus a single square root of 2. And over 1 doesn't do anything mathematically. So I would stop there. Now, if they want an exact value, stop there. If they want a decimal, actually punch in 1 plus the square root of 2 on your calculator, which is 2.414. Punch in 1 minus root 2. There are the two solutions to this equation, x-intercepts to this function. I'm going to end this video, and in the next one, I'll talk about the discriminant.